Hello everyone, Tac1421 here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Tower Defense 2. This is, of course, the hacked version. I think I've talked about that before. I'm pretty sure I put in the title and everything like that. In the last episode, we did a lot of things. We took on Bugsy and got ourselves a gym badge. I think our second gym badge. We also took on Whitney did not give us a gym badge, but she is helping us defeat Team Rocket in this gold Goldenrod City. And we have to basically go ahead and take on all these grunts. Um, the last episode was pretty long. I do apologize for that. I usually try to keep the episodes around 15 minutes. It went into the 20s and might have been cut down to 18 or so because of all the ads. But I don't know. So I do apologize for that if it was a little too long on the longer side. I know some people do enjoy longer videos. But I try to keep them to around 15 minutes or so for these videos. So I, I've, done a, I've done a pretty good job of that. But I, you definitely the last video was a little bit on the longer side. Uh, a rant that I was going to bring up in the last episode is not really too much of a rant per se, but kind of a question. And that is, in these games such as like Heart Gold and some other the games like this one, where Pokemon follow behind you, why don't they gain experience just walking around is my question. Like, it would make perfect sense maybe every every other step gain an XP or maybe every 10 steps gain an XP because they are walking around they are strengthening their quote unquote body if you will um, by walking around or following you around you know they're not in their Pokeball uh, so I feel like that would be kind of a, a thing to add to the game maybe I know you can go take your Pokemon to the daycare center and if they're in the daycare center, every step you you walk is an XP for them. So why not incorporate that into if they're in there if you're if they're falling around if they're following you around, then they should gain some kind of XP. Um, looks like we have a bunch of people here. I don't know where Whitney went, so let's go ahead and talk. Oh, is this Whitney right? I think this is Whitney right here. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Why can't we talk to her? Okay, it looks like an important people came out to play. They aren't very cute. Who are you calling ugly? She's very pretty. Oh, is this Team Rocket? Shut up, morons. Let's play Smirk. Okay, so we're going to take on these. I think these are Team Rocket people. Oh, got a little bit of an ad there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these people on. The camera is moving around a ton, so I'm going to zoom out. And let's go ahead and try to just put all my Pokemon to play here and see what goes on. I'm going to use Stone Edge. I think it's probably better. And uh, we learned Signal Beam. We're going to place that with the Cotton Guard. I don't really need to raise my defense too much. I'm also going to put out... Oh, a Vile Plume! I love Vile Plume. I'm going to use Lava. Lava Plume just because I don't think I need to use the Inferno attack. I guess I could use Fire Punch for a second there. Uh, why can't I attack him, is my question. It doesn't matter too much. Alright, let's go ahead and put you up there, sir. Alright, we have a, <coughs> a coughing that we have to take care of. Lots of coughings, actually. Maybe Petal Dance is our best bet. Probably. And I'll just put Weeping Bell over here, just to kind of have him in the corner doing his own thing. Oh, boy. Wave 5 of 6. How do we take on this person is my question. Alright, doing a good amount of damage to this, uh, what was that, an Arbok? I think that was an Arbok. Oh man, I'm getting like poisoned or something. Wave 6 of 6. Do we have to kill, okay yeah we do, we have to kill this, uh, this Houndoom. Kill him! He's on like a one hit. Get him. Get him. There we go. Now what? Any more Pokemon you want me to take care of there, Team Rocket? Cool. I don't care that you beat us. This changes nothing. Nothing. Uh, then bring it on. Yeah, we're not going anywhere until you leave. Giovanni! Uh, okay, he's from the past. What? What? Thinking. Wait, this Giovanni looks younger. He's from this time, the past. 
Of course. <laughs> we are in the past, young Padawan. So he's good now? Or he was good then? Man, this, this gold person does not put two and two, to, two and two together. So it looks like Giovanni was good. And now is not good. Here's Mew 3. Oh, man. What if I did an entire episode talking like Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh? Yugi boy, if you guys have ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh, um, I started watching a little bit just because it was free on Hulu. Because I have Hulu Plus, so I mean, I, guess, I don't know. It was it was free to watch, I guess. It was on Netflix too. I actually ended my Netflix account. I like Hulu a lot better now. I'm not trying. I'm not getting paid by Hulu to say that or anything like that. I just I've been enjoying Hulu a lot better than I have Netflix, just because I feel like they have a wider variety, and if you stay on top of the videos. The series that you like watching, I think it's better. Um, you think only a punny Celebi can travel through time? Okay, so I guess he can travel through time. I will stop you no matter what it takes. All right. Ooh, what kind of pokey food was he eating? I don't know. Ah, what the heck was that? What just happened? What just happened? It's Lugia. I am reborn. It is Dark Lugia. Lugia saved my life. No, no. What more beautiful... What? So what happened to Mew3? What the heck just happened? That was ridiculous. Where'd they go? They just go off and... I heard this train moves over 340 miles an hour. I probably should be on the tracks. <laughs> I guess these are train tracks. Interesting. They need to do a better job of like level design in this game is all I have to say because some of the stuff does not look I mean like the bike shop for example like put a bike in the front it's not very hard okay so let's see what this person has to say oh my god I like how he says OMG that's <laughs> that is not something Pokemon would do I feel maybe they I don't know I don't think Pokemon would put that into it this is this is definitely like a this is not a Pokemon official game is what I'm trying to get at, so that's why they would have it. Um, I don't care. Wait, what? We just went through this. We just went through this whole cutscene. Skip it. But, so are you not going to go to the gym? What is this person doing? Yo, champ, in the making. I heard you beat Whitney. I would love to hear all about it. Wait, what? Why is... Why are we playing Whitney again? I don't want to play Whitney. Oh my gosh. Does this game not understand? I do not want to play Whitney. I've played her like... This is my... Like sixth time playing her. Not really. This is probably my fourth. I'm going to go with fourth. I think fourth is, is, is a good... General... Solid pick. I don't know what I'm getting at. Uh, so... If we can't figure out where to go... Then I'll probably end things off because I I don't know where to go. I, I I've never known where to go, ever in this let's play. I just kind of follow the path, and even then, it could be really confusing because you can sometimes go off path, and sometimes you need to go off path, and sometimes you need to surf. And I don't know how to surf. I will find out how to surf after this episode. I promise. I'm sure many people have said, hey, Tech, this is how you surf. You need to do this and all that stuff. But I'm going to figure it out. Don't worry. Do I want to learn superpower? I feel like my moves that I have now are fine. Amazing. You'll go far. I can see it. And that's it. I don't get anything for showing you how I beat her. All right. Now I guess we just go up north is what we do. I'd, I'd like to catch in one of these things. Uh... A Growlithe and evolve it into a we, uh, into an Arcanine. We need a Firestone for that, though. All right, let's go ahead and speed things up now. We do not need to go through this. Watch all the Growlithe go by. It's kind of cool. Whenever I see a Growlithe, I think of Pokemon Snap for whatever reason. I don't know if anyone's played Pokemon. Why would ugh, I run to another one immediately? Uh, I don't know if anyone's played Pokemon Snap here. Pokemon Snap is an amazing game as a Raikou goes by. I don't know if we have a Raikou. I, we have an Entei. I don't know if we have a Raikou or Suicune, but it just flew by us. I don't, I don't need to catch one, though. I don't really care. 
but yeah, so I mean, if anyone's caught, if anyone's played Pokemon Snap, uh, the Arcanine and the Growth is, is pretty awesome in that game. I'm gonna go with my my thing here, my Graveler, <laughs> because Graveler is good, and he can resist the fire type moves and earthquake for a lot of damage which is fun my cargo all right got that done there's an item over here tm dazzling gleam what really so are some of the pokemon in this game fairy types what it must be because dazzling gleam is a fairy type move right well we can't learn dazzling gleam but I'll check that out later. I think... Can you learn Dazzling Gleam? No. I don't know of any Pokemon on my team that can learn Dazzling Gleam. Possibly Kadabra. Um, can you learn it? Yeah, it's a fairy type move. Interesting. That's cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. While we're at it, let's teach Headbutt. Because why not? And Attract, because... You don't have any other moves. Uh, okay, cool. Wait, does that that doesn't get rid of? I hope it. Do, I hope you can use multiple TMs, and multiple people, because I didn't want to waste it on on Kadabra. Um, there's a giant Pokemon over here. That's awesome. That's that's awesome. I don't want to use teleport. Let's use Dazzling Gleam. Yes. I, I want to see what kind of level. If we can get like a level 32. There's a level 33. Let's catch him. Yes, please. Yes, please. I got a pincer. Thank you, game. Um, I do want to level up my cadaver a little bit. So let's go ahead and give him a helping hand over here. Um, there we go. Miracle I know. I guess we probably could replace it with, with a tract. Uh, ally switch? No, thanks. Aromatherapy, no. Alright. Let's see how much leveling up we can do with Kadabra. Psybeam, there we go. Let's replace that with Teleport. Psybeam is a good move. Good quality move. Alright. Well, our Kadabra died, so let's go ahead and speed this up now. We did catch ourselves a pincer. Alrighty, well... We did a lot in this episode. I think I'm probably going to call it off now. Uh, it looks like we're in like in the middle of a Pokeball, which is kind of cool. I like the design here. Let's actually... Can we zoom out? I don't think we can from right here. Um, but, yeah, we did a lot in this one. We defeated Whitney again. We saw Lugia emerge from U3, which was kind of odd. And we caught ourselves a few Pokemon. And, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how things are going. It looks like we are at least going in the right direction. We've been seeing some new... New stuff, new scenery, new cities, and I guess we are in a national park here, which I didn't realize. And yeah, so I'm, I'm fairly happy with how things are going. Let me know how you're enjoying the Let's Play. Are you happy that I'm back and doing this? And in between episodes, I'm going to look to see what surf is, how you get surf, and all that fun stuff. And I will see everyone next time. Peace.